can't believe how peaceful it is, how nice it is. Just a quick one about the British weather. Yesterday it was minus 427 degrees C. Today it's plus 4264. I can't believe it. But what we have got, as you can probably see, is a lot of fog and mist. And what I'm hoping is, as I'm always hoping for when the fog comes in, is to get the sun burning it off and get some real good sun rays coming through the trees. That's that's the photo I'm after. Um, it is predicted. Whether that happens is another thing. But it looks so mysterious, mystical, magical. <laughs> uh, the only sort of problem I'm going to find is is finding. A, a different type of image to what I've already took in this woodland. Uh, so all the ice is melted, all the snow is gone within 24 hours. Um, but it's left us with this, all this moisture in the air. I assume that's why it's gone all foggy. Quite still as well at the minute. But uh, just look at that down there. Just flip you around. How spooky does that look? It's not good. It is super to photograph. Um, and maybe it's a long lens jobby. I'm picking some of, some of it out, I think. I'm going to go wander through the middle. Let's go wander through the middle. The other thing I want to discuss with you quickly is two days ago in, in the local woodland a lady's gone out taking photos at half past eight in the morning and she's been attacked, threatened with a knife and punched and um, it just brings home how vulnerable you can be with all this gear on. So make sure if you can you can go with someone even in the woodland even though I'm on my own, but I have got my dog. Uh, especially if you have uh, if you feel a bit vulnerable, um, make sure that people know where you are. Um, and just be safe, really. I mean, this, this woodland that she was attacked in is a very popular country park. I mean, I walk through there, can walk through there at six o'clock in the morning and bump into people. Um, and whether that person is just identified a lady that looks a bit vulnerable, but again, anyone got a backpack on, um, got your camera out, whether it's a phone or whatever, just be careful out there anyway. But photography, that's enough of the doom and the gloom. Let's photograph doom and gloom. If anybody who's got any suggestions as keeping safe while we're out here, uh, could be a good thing to chat about. If anyone's got any uh, good things to uh, to suggest, um, safety-wise, I think you're more them type of things happen very rarely. To be honest, I think you're more. Your biggest safety issue would be if you sprain an ankle, something like that. So, three little words up, something like that is very, very handy to have. Uh, even if you're local. I mean, I'm local, but no one knows I'm here besides the, the gamekeeper. 
no one I've not seen anybody for the last 20 minutes half hour so it just shows you how if I twist an ankle in the middle of a bit where no one else is going uh, no phone signal you never know what could happen I can't believe how peaceful it is how nice it is I've come to this area where the wood transformed from one type of tree I think these are oak trees and and behind that are some evergreens and then, then we've got some um, some more plantation over that that area there but you know it's, you know it's like sort of all the trees are in line so I would say this is the old original part of the wood this little bit here um, but they've all gnarly trees this little bit and with the with this um, this fog and that it's creating some proper proper atmosphere I'll, I'll put my long lens on the 70 to 200 see if I can reach into some of the branches and I'm just having a look to see if there's anything there that just appeals to me um, again it, this is it's not really my type of photography but uh, and it's not that I don't like it it's because I'm not very good at it the only way I'm going to get better at it is to have a crack at it, so that's what I'm doing. But I do, I find it hard to see something, but I think if you get the camera out and start having a look, you start to see things, and then you can work on that. Yeah, that's interesting. Now how can I make that a little bit better? So that's what I'm trying to do anyway. So I'm going to go a little walk around this little area here, see if I can find any gnarly branches. Um, get away from a bit, get it right in with the, with the lens. To get that misty, foggy, mysterious, sort of spooky image. Right, I'm going to move on. Okay, guys, set up one image. I found this really gnarly tree. From top to bottom, it's really gnarly and, and very interesting. So, I've uh, I've come away from it. It's it's quite um, how, how can I put it? It's very hard to isolate anyway. Um, but I've just managed to isolate part of it. Get right in with the lens. I'm on about oh, I'm on on the maximum 200 mil. I'm about 30 yards from the tree. Um, so I'm 200 mil, and I'm just trying to isolate a section of the tree. Um, and I think it looks really good to be honest it's probably gonna be it's it's a black and white image um, it's a black and white image anyway because of that that mist there's no real color there you've got the odd light bit of green running up the the bark of the tree but that's about it so maybe I'll, I'll leave it color but um yeah that's that's probably my first image in the bag I'm on f11 um, I might drop that down actually thinking about it just to get it so we get even more of that definition of the tree and nothing else but um, um, I'm on manual focus the autofocus is struggling a bit more because it's so misty to, to focus on what I want to focus on especially with branches and that so I've, I've manually focused um, manually zoomed in focused and, and got um, got it sharp where I need it to be sharp so that's that's that first image in and I'm gonna move on um, I know some more old gnarly trees down the back end if I manage to get down there I will do I've just spotted another another image talking to you as a, as a tree that's that's fallen over and the branches going into the, the misty woods there so let's see if we can get an image there um, I like that image. So, like I say, just as I was talking to you, I spotted this another um, image. The trees fell over, and we've got the end of the tree that's running into the woodland. Um, so it comes in from the bottom left hand corner, and it draws your eye in into the mysterious woodlands. And then behind it, we've, we've obviously got a Vast amount, well, the old woodland is behind it, but these two 
trees just stick out behind it to just sort of frame it slightly and give you that that um, feeling of going into that spooky woods and what's in there and um, a bit of Blair Witch but yeah I, I, I quite like that steady course. steady mate um, really really like that actually and the, the other thing I like about the branches it's it's almost like it's um, there's a little bit of light catching it but there isn't it's just the colour of the, the wood so whether it's um, and it could be a birch tree that's knocked over so we're getting that, that colour of that bark if you like yeah that's nice very very nice indeed the drone out in the wood for the first time and I've crashed it into a tree. Uh, I wonder the wind just got it slightly and just sucked it in, I don't know, but um, never mind. Um, no real damage, just a couple of props are gone, so never mind. Some great footage though. Uh, right. I'm just about to fly it up out and out the uh, the woodland as well. Oh, never mind. <laughs> right, where we're going to go next, Coop? Where we're going to go next? That way. Okay guys, that mist is, uh, it's lifted, it's gone, uh, it's gone into low cloud, so I think that's probably this shoot over, um, still didn't get that sunburst through, um, but maybe tomorrow, <laughs> uh, still think I got some nice images, um, but that's pretty well it. Yeah, I think that's it for today. So, uh, 
till next time thanks for coming and um hope you enjoyed my images and uh i'll catch you guys soon